Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fell here. Welcome back to a Crusaders Quest. Today we are gonna take a look at a Primrose Azerheart and how good she is. So I have given her some sigils for more resist penetration and attack power. And now we just gotta upgrade her weapon skill. So we're gonna try and get the crit damage. And the good thing is uh, they've changed how you upgrade stuff, so you don't have to actually press it all the time. You can just set it up and let Fergus do his thing, which could take a while. And it does cost us gold, so just uh, keep an eye on your gold if you're getting a little bit low. I've got 25 mil because I've been doing the challenge mode. Still trying to get Z long, so yeah. I got tons and tons of gold so yeah if you guys got tons of gold you can just do this and hopefully your RNG is not too bad uh, mine yeah, it's taking a while but yeah I get the crit damage 86% and one more time set it up crit damage so I'll just keep trying until it gets the great success for the crit damage uh, I do get the crit I and mean, great success for different skills, but it wouldn't uh, stop till I get the crit damage one. So he's just gonna keep on trying here. So the storm monster, he gets a great here, but it's not a crit damage, so it's something else. And another one, and it's not, still not crit damage. So yeah, I'll just keep using your gold until he gets it. Uh, my friend, I think, said he tried it for like a minute <laughs> straight <laughs> and just, yeah, couldn't get it. So, um, you can also use Fergus points um, to get a great success, but, you know, save it up for something else if you got tons of gold. So, yeah, hopefully you guys got lots and lots of gold. Oh, here we go. This might be it. Uh, nope. So it was a great. So it could have been something else possibly resist or attack armor penetration maybe so yeah it's taken a, a fair bit for the second one so I think it cost us what 10,000 gold per try so there we go this might be it yeah, there it is there we go crit damage 86% and that's the best upgrade we can get for that one so we got two greats and we shall leave it at that and we'll give her a ring as well because she doesn't have a ring yet we're gonna put a ring on it so probably need a crit damage one somewhere yeah we'll just use this one no not convert equipped equipped all and now she's got a ring all right let's go and have a look how she performs in the challenge mode of course so i'm gonna use altair and kaide for this run so she does she is really good for supporting she does buff the uh the leader of your party only the leader though so yeah so yeah we'll have a look at this and she's got a really good burst damage too but yeah, uh, Altair is doing most of the damage. No, actually, Kaide. Wow. Oh, there's the burst. So yeah, when she summons all of her dances, that's when the um, she summons like a black flame. So if you watch Naruto, you see the black flame. There is. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh. Sword and smashing us. Oh, we almost died there. Oh, lucky. We got our life still there, of course. So, should be real good. Oh, wow. That burst is, yeah. It's nice. Black flame. There we go. Easy peasy. And she does um, have the archer skill where, where um, it increases your evasion as well so she'll be good for um, Lufio as well 
if you guys want to use Lufio with her, so she's really good. So we'll see the... Oh, okay, Altair just smashing everyone. Oh, this is the flame. The only issue with the flame is once it's out, it, it doesn't move. So if the enemy moves around it, yeah, it, it could miss. Sometimes. But most of the times, they'll, uh, yeah, they'll get hit. But just one... Um, the odd ones where they sort of charge you forward or steps back then you just miss the whole flame thing there it is see oh yeah whoop there it is miss a little bit of dps there but it's all good oh yeah that flame is really good really 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 good and we are up to the final hidden boss easy peasy one flame no i didn't even make it And for this, for this last run, I actually changed Altair and Kaide. I just wanted to see if Primrose can do it by herself. So I got Hala and Yudum. So we got two healers. And we got Primrose as the main DPS. So let's see that flame. Whoa, woo, woo. Yeah, that's actually really nice. See, like this guy's uh, like guy running in forward. So he actually was just the flame. That time he got hit. Oh, he got hit hard. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really good. And I think this other guy's gonna run forward as well. Yeah. Oh, she. Is that a girl? I'm not sure. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that burst. Very nice. Very, very, very nice indeed. And we're up to the real uh, Oh, no, second last boss. Yeah. This is probably my least favorite bosses in this challenge mode. It's just she's so far away. And I think she starts, like, moving back. So you're gonna run all the way and chase her up. But look at her health, though. She's going down. She's going down quick. Come on. There. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I love that burst. Very, very good. Yeah. She's probably got one of the highest burst damage. But it does... Um, it doesn't like last long, so it's like, what? Maybe 2 seconds? 3 seconds at most? So, it's good burst damage, but it's very quick. There it is. Oh. And yeah, it's taken a fair bit to kill this last hidden boss but she can't kill us because we got two healers so it's only a matter of time Ooh, oh we destroyed the other one though boss yeah burn it all more fire and she with one more Ooh, wow okay she keeps stepping back yeah stay in the fire there you go stay there one more Ooh, get out of here. That's what you get. So yeah, challenge mode, which is really, really good, guys. That's the main DPS and support. Alright, let's go have a look at the uh, Colosseum. See how she performs. Uh, I'm still in a gold rank, so hopefully we'll get some strong opponents, even though I am not master rank yet. Oh yeah, this will do. And we're gonna change my team. So we'll use Alfin, of course, for tanking, Jeronica for shield, and Primrose Azelheart for the DPS. Okay, I think the burst damage will uh, serve us real nice here. It's got a feeling. Boom! There you go. Yeah. Yep, of course. Wow. Yeah, Alpha did tons of damage in there too. But Primrose, whoa. Alright, let's try again. Next one. We'll use the buffs this time. Oh. No, oh, these guys are low level. Never mind. These guys will die quick. Very, very quickly. I think Alphans, yeah, Alphans gonna kill them. 
His AoE damage is, yeah, 110k. Alright. Ooh, one more and I can... I'll be able to reach uh, Master Rank. Let's see, 30, max, max. Ah, I will try. Ooh, okay. This will be a good test. So we get the Twins, Limited Time Heroes, and Hala as their support. Let's see if they can hold off that bursty damage. Nope. Never mind. Easy peasy. Wow, this is actually going really well. Alright, two to go. Let's use the buffs. Maxed out. We got Ares here. Yeah, we'll try Ares. I don't think he'll have time to ride his uh, chariot and kill us. So, depending on who gets in first, the burst damage or the chariot. And that would be the burst damage. Wow. Yeah, she's really good, guys. That, yeah. That black flame is it's too strong. It burns everything. And... Oh, okay. Goblin Slayer. We also got... What's the other chick? I forgot her name. But yeah, Goblin Slayer is really good, too. I wish I had him. Uh, oh, okay. He got burned. Oh, yeah. Actually, Alfin pretty much destroyed them. Wow. So yeah, really good guys for a Colosseum. Very useful. And now let's go have a look at her actual skills and what she does. So, Moonlight Walt is the block skill. The hero deals magical damage equal to 100, 300 and 500% of the hero's attack power according to chain number used to the front most nearby enemy. And her passive is Dancer Moves. Oh. At the start of the battle, the hero grants the ally leader, excluding herself, the dancer moves effect. Okay. This effect cannot be cancelled. Depending on the block skills used by the hero and the target affected by the dancer moves, a different buff is granted to the hero and the target affected by the dancer moves. Okay. So Lion Dance activates when the target affected by the dancer move uses a block skill and increases attack power by 30% and critical damage by 20% for 10 seconds and a cooldown of 10 seconds, of course. Peacock Strut activates when the hero uses their own block skill, increases critical chance by 15%, armor penetration by 10% and resist penetration by 10% for 10 seconds. Cooldown 10 seconds. Okay, so that's both. And with the SBW, Lion Dance is enhanced to increase attack power by 60% and crit damage by 50% for 10 seconds. And Peacock Strut is enhanced to increase critical chance by 20%, armor penetration by 30%, and resist penetration by 30% for 10 seconds. And they've also added, when the target affected by dancer moves uses their special skill, the hero immediately uses Siltic... Siltic... I can't even read that. Siltic... Seduction for 10 seconds. <laughs> So the seduction, the hero immediately activates Lion Dance and Peacock Strat and generates three compressed three chain blocks for the hero. Additionally, for 10 seconds, the hero block skill is changed to Night Ode, which deals magical damage equals to 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000% of the hero's attack power. Whoa! That's crazy! Okay, and we also get this rapid firing soul. For um, the attacks increased by 125%, crit chance is 40% and increased by 40%, and motion speed is 10%, and invasion by 30 so that'll be good for Luffy as well, that helps out a little bit. So yeah, she buffs both, you know, armor penetration and resist penetration, so yeah, really, really good guys. If you got her, definitely very, very worth it to level her up. Thank you so much for watching, Captains. Hopefully you guys are having fun. And yeah, so for anybody that was asking about the pre-registration reward, guys, so it is in the next update. So they did apologize that uh, it's taken them a while to uh, give it to us. But yeah, next update coming up, um, which should be tomorrow by the time this video goes up. So th Thursday. 
um, yeah it will be up so you will get all the stuff so yeah you guys get ready to pick whichever heroes you want so you can pick the limited time as well remember so yeah thank you so much for watching captains and thank you so much for your unyielding support welcome to the brand new subscribers and as always stay safe and hopefully all your pools be all white horses thank you so much captains i shall see you all in the next video bye bye